Hey, welcome back to the Fit Survivor channel. So we have two items here from Obi, which this is basically, uh, this is um, Olight's basically, they're EDC items, like the knives and so on. Uh, you can find them on Obi, this is O-Knife. And so basically everything starts with O. So anyways, we have two items here from them. So this is the O-Knife uh, Chital, interesting kind of name here. Um, and so it is. it has an interesting blade because this is titanium coated D2. And so I guess it's supposed to create some more uh, resistance to it. So it comes nice and sharp. It's a very simple, um, maybe kind of minimalistic kind of design here in the blade. Uh, kind of like a clip point here. The handle is made from G10, but it's kept nice and coarse. Uh, I mean, like really coarse. Uh, in your hand, it does not slick at all. So you do have this deep carry pocket clip here on this side. And uh, that is not, you can't flip to the other side, but it is removable if you don't want the uh, pocket clip. So one of the cool things about this is just really how snappy it is. Um, I find it really easy, I mean, to get it to snap open. It doesn't have a whole lot of other options because you can't snag it right here. Nothing on the top for grabbing it. Um, but here in the back, though, did the back flipper. And so, really nice and snappy there with that. Uh, this did come really sharp, um, kind of like I said, which of course I guess what you kind of expect uh, when you get a, a, a new knife like this. All right, so this knife costs $50. And so... Uh, check it out on Obi, I'll include links to this, and they do have some sales quite often, and so uh, if you're interested in picking it up on sale, be sure to check it out while they have their sale going. All right, then the next thing here, uh, really cool, I really like this, uh, the way this is set up and all. So this is the O-Knife O-Tackle A1 Hatchet. Kind of a mouthful there. But again, this is all, like I said, this is from uh, Obi, which is uh, basically has O-Lite. And so I'm gonna take this off. It has a really nice Kydex sheath, as you see here. Um, I like the way they're set up, and right here, this is for attaching this to your belt or other places. Kind of an interesting setup. Um, I had a bit of difficulty opening this up the first time because it has like a safety. You have to lower this down, then you squeeze these to open this up, and then basically you can attach it to your belt or uh, anywhere like that. Um, this is removable, kind of replaceable if you wanted to swap it around some places. It does give you some options there, and so pretty interesting the way they set up that safety and all of that. So really cool little sheath, you got the double uh, clasps on there to make sure it stays in place. So if you're carrying this like in your backpack, which is where I'd probably carry this, um, you know, you're not damaging anything in your backpack. All right, so the hatchet overall, um, you can see it's pretty short. It's not, I mean, for a hatchet, it's a good length. Uh, it's not like anything really long. Uh, I think, like I said, it'd be great in a backpack, kind of a great like urban survival, where if you need to get out of a building via the fire or whatever reasons, earthquakes. On the back, you see this really nice massive hammer um, then the front, I love the shape that they chose for the hatchet. They got this nice um, nice shape there to it. And I just can't wait to, to, to throw this. I don't know. I get something that just is in me that I really want to like. I enjoy throwing hatchets. And I think this in the front would be really great because if you don't get your, your throw just right, you know, it'll catch maybe the top part. Anyways, we'll see. We'll take this outside and we'll be uh, experimenting with all of this. So anyways, the steel here is the 50CR15 MOV. Uh, or however you're supposed to pronounce that anyways. And then on the back, you can see it has a um, kind of a pry bar here, which again, in an urban situation, really great. If you need to get in somewhere, you'd be opening it up and so on. Uh, you get like pry bar on the back. You have this hole right here, which can be used like for a lanyard if you wanted to have a lanyard on this. Uh, like if you are chopping something with this, it's great to have a lanyard around this to your wrist kind of thing. So you're not actually gonna lose it while chopping it if your hands get sweaty and so on. So the handle on this is also G10. Um, it's not nearly as coarse as the, the Chital is. You can even see just by the pattern of it. This almost even looks like a carbon fiber. It's just how coarse that G10 is. Whereas this is a bit smoother. Um, I like the colors. Again, the, the, the green looks really great. Um, Onive does a really great job with that. So, all right, so anyways, this um, hatchet costs $80. And so let's go ahead, we'll take it outside right now. And we'll be showing just kind of the chopping work on it, uh, but the hammer. And of course, we're going to be throwing this. And so be sure to... Okay, stick around and watch that.
All right, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, demonstration and all. Um, so I'll include links to these in the description of the video as we sure you go check this out. And again, um, Opie does have some um, some sales that they have going on. Uh, if you miss this one, maybe next one, they have one quite often, but maybe once a month they have some reason to put their stuff out on sale. And should we check, be sure to check out those links. Uh, let me know what you think about them in general, both the, the Chital knife and of course the O-Tackle A1 hatchet. If this is something you can see yourself using, uh, maybe what you like to see maybe different. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.